Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll be uh, showing you how to extract a monthly uh, NDVI normalized difference vegetation index time series, okay? So what we were gonna do is we will have a region of interest, in this case, Brazil, and then extract a time series uh, of the MODIS um, NDVI uh, product, okay? So first let's um, uh, import our country's uh, boundary database. Uh, in this case, we'll select Brazil. Um, and then the uh, first bit of script here is the first uh, bit of um, script. What, what it does is that it just imports the uh, uh, NDVI uh, image collection from the Earth Engine library. And um, we'll select here uh, NDVI and then filtered by date. Uh, it starts from 2012 to 2016. And the other function, um, the other um, bit of this function is just map function image. So it will generate a date, month, and year from the system time start. So the image collection by default has a timestamp that is a system time start. So it doesn't have months or year and things like that. So it doesn't have a calendar. Um, you know time so we're technically in this uh, bit of the script converting that system time start into day months and year so that we can um, you know understand it and as a calendar did and then we'll use this in our um, summary table later okay and then the next bit is just generating a sequence um, you know months is from 1 to 12 and then um, years in this case is we start from 2012 to 2016 so we list all the years here so that we'll just use them um, in the next um, um, batch of uh, our functions okay and the the next step is once we have uh, you know this month, date, year, and then we have listed the months and the years. Now what we want to do is to um, in this uh, part of the script to summarize. Um, so I think this is the main thing in this script. So summarize for each month. So for each month to summarize the mean NDVI value. Okay, so this function, if, if you apply this function, what it does is just it gives you the mean NDVI value for that entire month. For example, if it's January, um, we'll have the mean NDVI value for January. So that's what this function does. Okay, and then uh, in addition to that, we'll have the year, the month, and the date apart from this uh, mean value, mean NDVI value. Okay. So um, another point is just we can extract the projection or coordinate system information by writing this function ee.imageModis, which is the um, original image collection uh, first and projection. So this will just technically give us the original projection information for this image collection, okay? So the last main bit of the analysis or the extraction is here. So we're technically uh, calling this function, which is summarizing the the, total, the mean monthly NDVI values, and also uh, extracting based on or using a region of interest. Here is our region of interest, Brazil. So when you are extracting, technically, it's telling it to generate date, month, and year. And then once you do that, uh, uh, apply a reduce region analysis um, using mean. So what it does is for, um, for each month, for each month, for this study area, Brazil, it would, it would calculate the mean NDVI value for this study area for each month. So we'll have a time series of NDVI um, for the entire Brazil um, as a monthly time series, okay? Let's print actually, let's print this um, and let's print this and then look at the, at least the first 10 rows of the um, um, image, all right? The, sorry, the extracted time series, okay? Um, so, here is it's running i don't think it's taking too much time because it's only 10 um 10 items or 10 rows of this uh, 
extracted time series. So should be um, giving us that value and, and, a, and a Y. So while it's, this is running, um, actually, since I ran the entire script, it's also just running the export. So so this is the export. So export.table and then NDVI Brazil, which is already summarized here. This is our extracted value and define, um, uh, you know, provide an, a name NDVI Brazil. You can name it differently and just define a format, an export format. OK. So once this is done, you can see at least the first 10, you know, um, lines of the summary table. But this is just, you know, for visualization. Uh, but the main thing is the task. So this NDVI Brazil table is um, exported by clicking the run function. It's ready now. So I'll just, you know, run it. Um, then once this is complete, I can access this NDVI table a monthly time series on my Google Drive. So that's how technically you would um, summarize a monthly time series from um, a Modis image collection and by using a region of interest, in this case, uh, Brazil, okay?